This is the Ojo de Agua, the eye of water. 350 litres of fresh, cool water bubble up out of the spring every second. It's at the heart of a large water park much loved by locals. It's in Belen, a suburb of Costa Rica's capital, San Jose. A million people live in and around the city. And water pours forth from springs across the area. People are used to having a lot of water, so they use it for things that aren't really necessary. The challenge we face is to teach them that we actually need to protect and conserve water. And we should only use it when we really have to. Dulce Jiménez Espinosa works for the Belén municipality on its water conservation program. As part of that, the city seeks to buy up land in private ownership where there are springs in order to create conservation areas. This plot is the first the city has bought. The official list comprises 30 springs in Belén, but there are probably many more. Sometimes people just don't tell us if they have a spring on their property. Or they say, yes, there's a little water in my garden, but not much. And when we go and investigate, it turns out it's a real spring and we need to secure the land. Real estate in Belén is expensive, so this purchasing project is too. It's being financed by means of a levy on water that residents have to pay. Costa Rica is very serious about water. Access to drinking water has recently been written into the Constitution as a basic right. And that covers the conservation of springs. 95% of the population do have access to clean drinking water. Still, the government is keen to do even better. Berlin is also upgrading its waste management so that trash doesn't contaminate the soil, groundwater or springs. At this facility, workers are looking for materials that can be recycled. This is also part of the program to protect water resources and the environment. This project is about ensuring that stuff doesn't end up here at the dump but gets recycled and that we don't use more and more water to manufacture more and more goods. If lots of products can't be recycled, then we should stop using more resources to make them. There's also a social aspect to the recycling project. The people who sort the trash have each faced major problems in their lives. Here they have the opportunity to make a living. They work on their own account, selling whatever they find to recycling companies. There are seven of us at the moment living from this project. With the money we make, we first cover our costs and then divide up what's left among ourselves. Susana Astorga had just split up with her partner when she started working here several years ago. Suddenly, the homemaker was a single mother with two boys to feed. Sorting trash was meant to be just a stopgap. I've developed skills I never knew I had. I like to manage the project and assume responsibility for others. I've really come to love the project. Belen residents are expected to sort their trash into various categories, but many don't. Trash collection here is on Thursdays. But the workers from the sanitation department won't take stuff deposited on the roadside unless it's properly sorted. Another project, only implemented on a few streets so far, has inspectors review trash waiting for collection by the roadside. Jorge Naranjo is one of them. The sacks may only contain things that can be recycled. Here we have a problem. This is just garbage. It can't be recycled. I'll take a photo and I'll send it to the municipality. Al centro de información de la municipalidad. 
Such photos help the sanitation department identify the most common mistakes residents make. The biggest problem has proved to be organic waste. So 300 households have been given a composter. Tatiana Navarro Porras is one of the lucky ones. She's been composting diligently for six months now. You have to put leaves on top, a layer of moist waste, then a layer of leaves. We can look after our planet, we just have to want to. Tatiana Navarro Porras lost her job in a hotel when the pandemic hit. Now the family has only one breadwinner, her husband. They've long been concerned about the environment and use water sparingly. A few days ago, we got a letter from the municipality congratulating us because our water consumption is so low. The congratulations were printed on our annual statement. Congratulations for doing such a good job. That praise is also a way for the city to encourage people to continue to use water wisely. The springs here yield plenty of fresh water, and that's not about to change. Nonetheless, Costa Rica is working to improve the management and conservation of its water resources. Our bodies are to a large extent made up of water. We need food and water to live. Water is a source of life.